And so that makes it very difficult. But mm-hmm. because even if you're, let's say you're maybe not as strong as you should be for your weight class, mm-hmm. it might be hard to develop uh, some of those attributes while you're always training for a fight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we get guys that have take fights on short notice, and that's the reason why I developed the condensed conjugate model so they can always be ready. You know, if they're closer to the fight, let's say three to four weeks out, then we're going to start working more of that velocity range depending on if they need more strength or speed again. Um, but, you know, we do a two-week taper, and we make sure that the weight cut's going appropriately, making sure that their weight is down because that's going to play a major role, especially when you're talking about CNS activation and, and just recovery, you know, because their caloric intake is down. And they're also, uh, you know, for, for most parts, they're training a lot. So they're training a lot without getting a lot of calories in. And a lot of times they're probably bringing down the carbs too. But luckily, we have like guys like George Lockhart that helps us out too as well. And George has been a tremendous help for me too. With everybody. George, George is amazing. He like came to our gym and like wrote this giant formula out on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking does. board. And, so, and gotta, he like forgot how he got to all these numbers. He's like, this is 16 divided by this. And I'm like, okay, hold on. How'd you get to that number? He's like, I, I, he's like, I fucking forget. And he's going on next. <laughs> <laughs> He's so, like, this is just the way it is, though. Yeah. So in his in his seminars, I was there in Miami when he held one. He usually holds one in like an Airbnb. And I'm like, and I'm like, he's like, come down, man. Like, I'm here in Miami. I was like, yeah, perfect. I'll come through. And uh, he don't even have like a fucking whiteboard. He just has like a big sheet of paper and mm-hmm. he writes it down. And then like, he's like, da 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 da. And then he's like, flips you the see? page. Yeah, flips the page. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, man, this guy's crazy. But it works, you know, and I've seen it work time and time again. I love that he's got, uh, I mean, so, you know, sometimes he's got stuff like that, but he also is very simple. When I asked him on the podcast about, you know, uh, like having a certain carbohydrate post-workout, like having, say, like uh, orange juice or something, yeah. which is fructose and fructose will, uh, you know, put glycogen mm-hmm. into your liver rather mm-hmm. than like uh, maybe into your muscles. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, you know, because he was recommending orange juice post-workout. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, that sounds a little uh, different from things I've heard. Yeah. He said, well, I just believe the human body is going to do whatever it needs to do. And if and, and post-workout, it's going to need carbohydrate. So. It's going to still put it into the muscles. And yeah, it was just it. like, that's, that sounds reasonable. Like that yeah. sounds like it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. They've been doing it. And, and he works a lot with, uh, with Stan too, as well. Yeah. The rhino. Yeah. So like, and I know they did the, uh, the 40 milligrams of caffeine too, as well for the reabsorption of glycogen into the touch, into the muscle. Right? right. So I was like, all right, well, cool. So like, and then, and then he's telling me, you know, we need this creatine. We need branch chains. We need caffeine and we need, uh, glucose so we need dextrose or any type of branch cyclic dextrin that's gonna be quick right and then um you know he was telling me all right we need three liters and we do the three liters and there's like a a, a, a like a minute detailed out <laughs> approach of like what you need and, and it's like man this is a lot bro. Like, yeah. this is different than what we usually do let's get some pedialyte and call it a day <laughs> yeah so there's a different approach there and it's and it's spot on in a way and i got a i got a young guy um eric pena who's been working with a lot of fighters now mm. and he's kind of taking over for george and he was actually my intern so it was actually cool to see him. He's just been, he just finished, um, he's worked with Connor. He's worked with a bunch of guys, so it's cool. If you are a fighter or someone who wants to start training in MMA, listen up. My name is Phil DeRue. I'm the head performance coach of American Top Team. I train some of the elite MMA athletes in the world, such as Dustin Poirier, King Mola Wall, Frankie Edgar, Junior Dos Santos, Edson Barbosa, and Ioana Janjacek. Going to MMA gyms or hiring a personal trainer can get extremely expensive over time. So if you want to get in shape and train using the exact program of the top MMA fighters for an affordable one-time price, check out Fight Ready in the description below. 